okay everyone so i quickly want to show you what i have done this was the dress i cut earlier on i quickly want to show you what i've done i'm trying to sew it together now so this is the back as you can see i've used the lining to turn it so i've turned the back i've done that to the boots i've turned it and then i under stitch it as well so it will lie flat so this is one section of the back as you can see that's the lining the fabric the lining so that's one section of the back this um this is the front i've done the same thing to the front as well i've done the v-neck you can see the v-neck there so i've used the lining as well to turn it out and i've ironed it although i'm still going to iron it because i want the v-neck to come a bit proper so this is it i've turned it i see i want stitch it as well if you can see the bottom the wrong side of it so that is the front this is the other part of the back and this here is the strap for the for the sleeve this is the sleeve it's a very small gala sleeve i've already gone ahead and so a loose stitch to um, loose stitch to pull a gather and this is the band this band is going to be sitting on top of the sleeve once i finish pulling the gathers so this is the two band here and this is the back of the dress the skirt section this is the back i've already stitched two stitch there if you can see it so i'm just going to pull the gather I'm just going to pull the gather and I'll come and show you how it looks like. I'll show you the front one as well now. Alright everyone, so this is the front. I'm just going to show you how what I'm doing with the front. Because remember I said the front is going to flap over because it's an open slit, but the person doesn't want the normal slip. We want the the one that flap over. So this is going to be on top of the other one. As you can see, I pin it down, but the pin is coming off. So it's going to be like this. That is one. This is another one. It's going to be on top of this one. So I pin it because what I want to do, I want to stitch them. I want to put the run stitch, the um, loose gather stitch together with the two of them together. So it's easy for me to pull the gathers instead of stitching them separate, separate. I'm just pinning it so you can see it. So I've pinned it together. You can see the opening there. That is the opening. So what I'm doing, I'm just hemming it. I've hemmed this one already. So I'm going to hem the bottom one as well. So after that, I'm going to sew the, the loose stitch, the gathered stitch, all the way to the end. Okay? So let me just stitch the... Let me just hem it. Because I've already hemmed one of it, which is this one. I hem it all the way down there. So I'm just going to hem this one as well before I sew the gather stitch on the top of it. So let me quickly just hem it first. So I've set the machine to a normal uh, straight stitch, not gather stitch. So a normal straight stitch. Don't forget guys, as I said, there's new fabric coming up in our website, new African prints and some new jewelries. I'm going to do a video on the new fabrics so you guys can see. And then I'll put them on the website when I can. And we ship worldwide. We ship to everywhere. If you are looking for a particular fabric, you can leave me a comment and I'll help you look for it. So I'm just going to stitch this part first before I put the five stitch the gather stitch.
Okay, so now I'm going to take both of them now and put them together. Remember, it has to be right side facing up. This is the right side of this part. This is the right side of this part. So I'm putting the wrong side of this. This is the right side of this one. I'm putting the wrong side of this to touch the right side of this. I'm just lapping it over like that. You can determine how far you want the, the flap or lap to be. I'm just using, let's see, let me measure what I'm using. I'm using roughly about five, about five inches. I don't know if you can see it there. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to sew the gather loose stitch. Is to sew the gather loose stitch all the way down. So I've put my machine on the long stitch. I'm using industrial machine. If you are using a domestic machine, just put your, your stitch on the long stitch for gathers. I'm doing it this way so it can be easy for me to put the gathers in one go. I don't have to sew it separate, separate. So that's one. I have to do another one again. You need two, two loose stitch. Okay, so I've run the stitch now. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull the gathers, and then I'll come back and show you what I've done. I'll pull the gathers in all of them, the front, the back, and the sleeve. Then I'll come and show you what I've done. Okay, everyone. So I have um, pulled the gathers. For the back, this is the back, one of the piece of the back. I have pulled the gathers. And for the front one as well, I have pulled the gathers for the front as well. You know the front guy is slit, you can see that it's opened. But I'm going to stitch this slit down a bit from the top when I finish sewing the dress. I'll stitch it up to somewhere about here. So the slit will only be opening from around here. Okay, so I've pulled the gathers. For the back and the front. I've also put the gathers for the sleeve. This is one of the sleeve. I've put the gathers as well for one of the sleeve. Remember I show you the sleeve is just a straight piece. It's a cold shoulder dress. So I've also put it. This is one of the sleeve. I'm going to be attaching this to this, to the top of this. I'm going to be attaching this one to the top like that. I'm going to be attaching it to it before I attach it to the sleeve, to the ham hole rather. So the next thing I'm going to do now, because it's a cold shoulder dress, I'm going to turn the hand, the ham hole area. You can see this is the ham hole area. I just want to open it out so you can separate it. This is the ham hole area. 
so i'm going to turn it i'm going to use the lining to turn it what i have done i have if you notice that the lining is not equal with the fabric because i have cut a little bit of the lining off so that when i use to turn it the fabric will be showing the lining will move inside so the fabric will be showing because i don't want the lining to be showing outward i want the fabric to show so i've trimmed the lining a little bit on both sides I've trimmed it on both sides. I've done the same to the back one as well. So I'm just going to turn it. So what I do is I take the lining. This is the lining. I turn it to the right side of the fabric. So this is the ham hole. So I turn it together. So this is right side facing right side. And I'm just going to stitch it round. I'll do the same to all of them. So I'm just going to stitch it round so you can see. Just aligning it properly. So I'll do the same to the other side as well. Do the same to the other side of the armhole. Right side to right side. There's a different method of different ways of doing this. You know, especially if you don't want the raw edge of the shoulder to be showing, there's another way of doing it, but I'm going to be overlocking it. So that's why I'm doing it like this. If you want to do it the other way, you first of all need to add the back section to the front section. But that's in a different tutorial, I'll do that. This one, I'm just going to overlock the, um, overlock the, the shoulder with an overlock machine. So I do the same to the back as well, right side to right side, if you see the way I flip it, right, right side to right side. Take the other back, we do the same thing as well. Right side to right side. Okay, so now when you finish you just clip it clip into it so it make it relax when you are clipping try not to cut the thread that you've already sewn not cut into the seam just clip all of them so that when you turn it to the right side it will relax properly just like what I'm doing hope you can see what I'm doing I'm just clipping it. So I do the same to the front one as well. I clip it. You can understitch it if you can, if you want to. 
on the station is quite good because it makes the lining to stay inside if you want to understitch it you can do that okay so i clip it on this on the other side as well Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to turn it out. I turn it out and turn the other side out. And then I will also turn the back out as well. I turn the back one then out as well. And then what I'm going to do next, I'm going to put it that. So I've turned them out so I can take them to the iron and iron it out. I'll take them to the iron. Hope you can see that I've turned them out. You can see that it looks neat and it's inside. So I will iron it. And this is the other side of the back. I will iron it. The same with the front one. This is the front. I will iron them. Once I iron them, I'll put the dart on and then I'll show you what I do next. Alright everyone, so I have put the dart as you can see. I've put a dart on the, the front and I've also put the dart at the back ones. I've put it that and in the back one I have stitched the zip allowance together I'm going to overlock the raw edges later so I've said I've sewn the zip allowance together so I'm going to be sewing the zip here so the next thing I'm going to do now I've pinned the front to the skirt this is the bottom part of the dress I have pinned it to it so I'm just going to sew it all the way down I use a normal straight machine stitch and I'm just going to stitch it all the way down. And then as you saw you remove your pins. gathers as you go arrange them nicely then you remove the pins as you sew so you don't break your machine needle so when I finish I'm going to do the same to the back section I'm going to be sewing doing the same thing to the back section. Okay. So I'm just ranging the guiders properly. Okay, so I've stitched it. This is how it's looking like at the moment. You can see. This is how it's looking like at the moment. So I'm going to do the same to the back one. 
and then I'll come and show you guys how it looks like okay everyone so I'm actually sewing this sleeve I quickly want to show you so what I've done I've done one already as you can see I just gather it and I sew a band on top of it and then I hem it I hem the bottom of it so I'm going to be putting it like this it's going to be on the ham hole because it's a cold shoulder but this is going to be on the ham hole so I'm going to be putting it just like this so I've done one already so I'm doing the other one I just quickly want to show you all I'm doing is this is the gather edge I'm just stitching it to the band this is the band here so I'm just sewing it to the band I'm just quickly sewing it to the band. Okay, so I've stitched it to the band. This is how it looks like before I turn the band. So the next thing I'm going to do is take the band, fold a bit of the band, the top just fold a bit of it like that and then I'm going to stitch it to cover the raw edge of this this is the raw edge here so I'm going to cut turn this a little bit and put it on top of this like this so I'll stitch it all the way down I turn it a little bit can you see what I'm doing guys so I turn it a bit, I turn it a little bit, and then I'm putting it on top of this one. I can pin it so I can show you very well. Let me just put a pin. Okay, so you see, I've put a pin, so I turn it, I turn it in a little, just less than half an inch. And then I will turn it all the way like that as I'm sewing, I'll turn it in. As I'm sewing, I'll turn it in until I get to the end. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. You can pin it all the way if you are not very comfortable um, stitching without um, pinning. So it's better you pin it if you are still learning. Pin it. It's very important that you pin. If you are still learning okay so I've stretched it to the end you can see all I'll do now is to hem it just like the other one I hem it I hem this is less than half an inch hem so I just hem it and that's the end of the sleeve really and then I'll attach it to the dress and show you how it looks like okay everyone so I have finished with the sleeves this is the two sleeves so what I'm doing now is I'm just joining the side of the dress together. I'm going to be putting a lining, a facing later to face this, to cover it. I don't have the facing here, but I'm going to be doing that later. So all I'm doing now is just stitching it to the end. I'm just stitching it the right side to right side. I've put the zip already. I've put um I saw in an invisible zip. I know you can see it because it's invisible zip. That's the zip from the top there. So I've put in an invisible zip. See? I got a video tutorial on how to sew an invisible zip. So you can watch that if you want to know how I did that. So that's the zip there. I've gathered the back, as you can see. I've put the dots already. 
So I'm just joining the shoulders. I've joined the shoulders already. There's the shoulders. I've joined them, so I'm going to overlock it. And then I'm just joining the sides now. So I'm joining the sides together. And then I'll put the sleeve on. I'll show you how I put the sleeve. Okay, everyone. So I finished making the dress. So all I just want to show you is the sleeve. What I have done is I have stitched the sleeve on because it's a cold shoulder. So from the top of the shoulder here to here, I measured four and a quarter. And then I attached the sleeve from there. It's a very small sleeve. As you can see on the bottom, you don't need to attach it. It's just only a little bit there. And then I've pinned the other one before I sew it. I pin it at the inside. You can pin it from the outside and turn it in, but I just prefer to, it looks more neater, more neater when I sew it from the outside. So the sleeve is in, I sew it at the inside. You see, I've already torn the edge, I don't have to overlock this point. So I just attach the little gather sleeve to it. So I'm going to also do the same to the other sleeve. I've pinned it already in place. So I just need to stitch it. I just take it to the machine and I stitch it. I stitch the other side as well. So once I stitch the other side, that's the end of the this tutorial for this dress. I will take a picture of it. I'll take a picture and show you guys how it looks like. Okay guys, so that is the end of this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. So that is the, the sleeve stitch on. I see. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Comment. Like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. If you like what you see. And if you want more tutorial like this or if you want vlog. Just comment anyone you like and anything you want me to to do to sew which I haven't done yet. There's a lot of things I want to make, just the time to do it. So leave me a comment if this tutorial was helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys or you see me in my next video. Thanks, bye.